All right, mate, yeah, speak to you on the podcast, Jay. It's been a good chat. All right, see you soon. Oh, by the way, I've got your playlist that you sent me. Oh, well, he's gone. Okay. Let's just stick this on, shall we? Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, Cat Nigel? Where did you come from, Cat Nigel? I've been married a little woman. What else has he got in here? Ooh. You've outdone yourself, Jamie. This is oh, love this song. Especially for you. I wanna let you know what I was going through. All the time we were apart, I thought of you. Hi. <laughs> How are you? All right? Um, yeah, it's been a long time. Funny that. Um, yeah, I don't know what's going on there. The something weird going on my playlist. Um, can't explain it. Anyway, how are you guys? Haven't been around for a while. I haven't seen you for ages, have I? Um, yeah, it's been a it's been a while. It's been a it must be six weeks. Is it six weeks? Six or eight? It's been a long time. Anyway. Uh, Maybe at some point I'll go into that um, and explain why I haven't been around. But today I want it to be positive. I want a nice positive day. Um, I'm only ribbing about Jamie's playlist, obviously. Um, I have to say, by the way, um, big thanks to Jamie and to the rest of the podcast boys. Um, I had a good chat with them the other the other night, and you know, it made me feel a lot more positive and and really helped me back out with the camera. Um, like I said, I, I don't want to. I don't want to talk about negative stuff, so uh, I'll save that for another video. But it's it's been. I found it really difficult uh, just to pick up the camera and go out and do anything. I've I've really not wanted to, and so much so that I found myself last week uh, in the camera shop in Camera World in Stevenage with all my gear boxed up. Uh, and to be honest with you, if they'd have accepted or offered me what MPB had offered me, I probably would have sold the camera on the spot. And I wouldn't have it right now, but um, fortunately, they didn't. Uh, I've got to say, I'm not happy with them. To be honest with you, the guy in there he reset all my settings on my camera without asking, so I had to go back and set it all up again. But um, and also, they said, "Oh, there'll be some wiggle room for what we offer you," and there never was. So that was a lie. Got me down there for no reason. But anyway, um, yeah, I didn't sell it, and uh, I'm mighty glad, really, now that I didn't because. The last couple of days I've, I've started picking it up again and taking some photos of the birds out in the garden. And uh, and yeah, and today I've actually finally decided to go out and do some serious photography. And I'm going to a place I've been to before, so it's not gonna be anything new. Uh, in fact, a place that probably is only three or four videos ago, I'm not quite sure, but uh, it's, uh, it's the Lone Tree at Swine's Head. Um, I'm off there because when I went there last time, there were crops in the field but all the crops were very green and, and young and I'm really hoping that the corn's now grown and there should be or wheat or whatever it is and there should be a really beautiful yellow field of crops uh, we're still with the leading line and that should look really good so and the weather as well is so much better these last couple of days it's been that's been a real reason or, or one of the reasons that I haven't been out is the weather's been so odd it's either been sort of chucking it down with rain or wall-to-wall -wall blue skies and neither of those are really conducive for photography but today it's sunshine and showers so that should be perfect for this sort of shot hopefully get some moody skies but with some splashes of light that's that's the hope anyway although it's a bit more sunny than it is showery right now anyway um let's get there shall we and then we can focus on what we're doing and I'll uh, I'll see you there
So basically, I've got everything that I wanted. I, was, I don't know if I was saying to you before, but I really wanted to be, there to be a crop. I'm really happy with, the, with the, the in and out sun, so we're getting some dappled light that's coming across uh, the scene, which is absolutely fantastic as well. Everything's just pretty much exactly as I want it. It's not too windy, so none of, these, uh, none of the crops are moving at all in the scene. I'm hoping that I've got uh, a decent, let's just, while well, it's on the tree, well, there's a bit of light. The tree's moving a little bit, actually. That could be a could be a bit of an issue. Although I was saying that, I'm shooting at a 30th, so I could probably do with just bumping the ISO up, I think, to 100 instead of 50. And just pushing that up a bit more. Maybe to 100th. Just to eliminate that movement in the tree. But yeah, this is exactly, exactly what I wanted, exactly the conditions I wanted, so I'm actually really happy. So I just realised that I've got to reset all my settings that I had on here, all my memory settings, because the guy at the camera shop, I don't know if I said, when I took it in to get it looked at because I nearly sold it, he, uh, he actually reset the whole camera back to the factory setting, so I've just had to reset all of my memory settings on the fly. I'm not quite sure I've got those right, but I think I have. Um, the focus peak is uh, white, which is a bit annoying. I can change that to red, but I'll do that in a bit. Uh, and what I'm actually doing here is I'm, the sun is, the, well, the, the clouds are sort of coming this way. So you're getting, basically you're getting the sun sort of wafting across sort of from behind me into the, into the distance and then lighting up different areas. So I'm trying to judge it where the sun sort of starts to disappear from the foreground but you're still getting some nice light on the mid-ground and the background, and I think that's, that's going to look really nice. Um, I'm staying right here for a minute. I will move and probably try and do a slightly different composition uh, in a bit, but right now I'm just staying here, just waiting for the, the clouds to blow through and uh, just get that dappled light on the scene, and yeah, just, just keep snapping, and then I will literally just pick the best one when I get home. So yeah, so this has been a while and it's all a bit rusty to me. The photography's rusty, the, uh, the, the work on the video's rusty, talking into a GoPro's a bit awkward again, uh, as it will be for a while, but I'll get there, you know, give me a couple more weeks and I'll be back up to speed again, I should think. Not sure what the video editing's gonna be like, who knows? Uh, but one thing I do wanna do is I wanna say a big thank you to a few people. Uh, everyone, who've been, everyone who's got in touch with me to ask how I am, I wanna say a big thank you to them, it actually means a lot. Um, and I'm fine. I am really good, actually. Um, you know, my, my personality, I know where I'm at. I know who I am. And uh, I do go through these down periods and, uh, you know, times when I just want to stop. And I think as well, often, you know, when, when, I, when I make it for myself uh, more than just a hobby and start, you know, making plans and planning things, it, it usually goes wrong because uh, I put too much pressure on myself. Um, so, yeah, I just want to take that quickly. So yeah, so that's that's always or usually or often an issue for me. But I come back around again, you know, uh, just to please I didn't sell my camera. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you to everyone who, who got in touch to ask me how I am. And also thank you to you guys who are, who are tuning in and watching now. I really appreciate the fact that you're still here. Um, you know, it's, uh, it means a lot. Uh, you know, I know I'm not the most uh, talented orator or photographer or video editor out there. And I know there are many channels that are far better than me but i you know i enjoy it i like the creativity and and i really appreciate the fact that you take the time to tune in and watch so yeah so thank you very much for that um, it's very much appreciated it's got this big fluffy white cloud that's sort of just passing behind the tree at the moment and they're quite slow moving, but I want, to, I want it to just clear past it so I've got a nice blue background for the tree. And then I've got this high cloud on the right and this fluffy cloud on the left, and it should hopefully 
create quite a nice frame uh, for the tree to sit in but it's just a waiting game of just letting it go past it's nearly there now and these other clouds just coming along so actually it could be a really good timing hopefully <music> Well, this is a one-shot place, really, really and truly. You're working on very tight compositions just within maybe a very few metres of each other. So I'm actually really happy with the place and the composition that I've got. I'm happy with the light. I'm happy with some of the images. So I'm going to go home now and I'm going to edit them. I'm going to say thanks very much for watching. I am going to say that I'm not going to make any promises about how often I'm going to be back. Uh, I'm going to try to get out a bit more. Maybe we'll get back to weekly vlogs. I don't know. But I am going to just do it when I want to, really. And, uh, yeah, I'll be back when I'm back. Let's put it that way. But it's good to be out. It's good to get it going again. It's good to get the old mojo back. And uh, let's see where that leads. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed this. I'm going to jump in the car and listen to some more of Jamie's fantastic playlist. <laughs> and until next time, I'll see you again soon. God, that's bright, isn't it? Whoa, whoa.